Natalie. Kevin. I can't remember a couple that look more beautiful on their wedding day. Kevin, you're my best friend, and I just want to remind you how much the bachelor party costs, okay? So if you screw this up, you and me are done professionally. That's not a joke. So what do you mean it's not an open bar? Who the hell charges for drinks at their wedding? Man, I thought I was cheap. Oh, you're surprised the four-year-old you left in charge of the wedding rings lost them and now can't remember what he did with them. That's the four-year-old with the four-year-old's memory who can't remember what he had for breakfast this morning. Yeah, I'm sure they'll turn up. I'm a little confused as to where I'm supposed to be seated. Uh, which side completely disapproves of this marriage? The right? Oh, okay, I'll find a seat on the left. Thank you. Hey, DJ, who the f hired you? Do you have the new Kanye song? No? Why would you? You're working from a pile of CDs. Now, traditionally, a woman's wedding gown is white to signify purity and grace. But, Natalie, I knew you in college, so... She's not a virgin, all right? That's what I'm saying. Whose call was it to have the ceremony at one and the reception at five? I flew in from Los Angeles. What the hell am I supposed to do in Vermont for the next four hours? I have low blood sugar. Let's f***ing eat. Don't tell me, don't tell me. Natalie's racist Uncle Pete. Ah, oh, I knew it! Somebody get this guy a drink! I want to hear more about this no good son of a bitch and Kai and his black president of ours. Why don't you cut the damn cake already? You really needed an ice cream maker? An ice cream maker. Plan on making a lot of ice cream in the coming years? Well, it wasn't on the registry, but I got you a salad shooter instead. They say you stop caring after you get married. And Kevin's my friend. Single ladies, if you're delusional enough to believe that catching a poorly thrown bouquet of flowers, because women can't throw, especially from behind, signifies that you're gonna be the next to get married, then you're also too delusional to realize that you're gonna die alone, just like those flowers. Actually, those flowers won't die alone because they're in a bouquet. My bad, just you. Now, they say you can't put a price on love, but Kevin told me the ring cost 18 grand, and this reception's pushing upwards of 50 without the help of his parents. <clears throat> so let's everybody raise their glass and help Natalie and Kevin welcome themselves into this new life, 68 grand in a hole. Now that guy knows how to give a speech. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Be sure to check out some of our other rants below or watch them all by clicking the Watch All Rants button. Subscribe, follow on Twitter and Facebook. Links in the description. Leave comments and suggestions for the next gentleman's rant, but be careful because whatever you suggest, you're married to. See what I did there? And like, favorite, and share this video to be entered in for a chance to win a bouquet of flowers. Ladies, fingers crossed. Thanks again for watching, guys.